Now from the home of the Rays. At the plate, Andrelton Simmons. And the home away the splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Another 0-2 coming. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Foul. The 0-2 once more. Fouled away. The next 0-2. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels starting lineup. Dero, what's the key in trying to stop their opponent's winning streak? Yeah, Maddie, it's going to be interesting how this offense goes about it. Are they going to go after him early? Are they going to sit back and take, hope he doesn't have his secondary stuff, and drive his pitch count up? You have to find ways. You can't just throw your bats out on the field and think you're going to score runs off a premier guy. And we're just underway from Tropicana Field. Another 0-2. Good bike to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Here's the center fielder, burst. Mike Trout, the looking to at least put the ball in play here this inning. Mike. Sinker wow. gets the outside for a strike. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Hey, Dero, James Kingsley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, yeah. keeps things under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James Kingsley will never show you up, and he's always approachable. And it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more. Fouled off. Grounded back up the middle. Adamez scoops it up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two. Plate, Joey Wendell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And leading off for the Rays. First offering on its way. Joey. Back up the middle. Wendell. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Hey, after the leadoff knock right there, you know what they say. You get that leadoff guy on, I don't care how it's done. He usually comes around to score. But let's tip our hat to the pitcher. He set the tone in the top of the first, retiring him in order. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Maddie. everyone always looks at the schedule, and these cross-country trips can be a bear. I, I always looked at them with a smile on my face. Five hours into playing with the boys, playing some cards, really coming together. I feel like that's where the chemistry of the team that really occurs. starts to take the shape on those long cross-country trips. Let's see how this team Bear. plays today. So digging in now, Tommy Pham has come up big in spots like this more than once this year, currently second in the AL in RBIs. And that's what you want from your corner outfielders. Not every guy fits that mold, but 
you got to love having a guy who can stick out there and just let him. And the runner score as the Rays cash in on an early 1-0 lead. Got First a job four. done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first Ooh, run of the game go. and pick up the RBI. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. In to score is the runner from third. It's a 2 0 ball game. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. So stepping Daniel. in, Daniel Robertson, as he Robertson. enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. 0 oh, 1 the count. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. Arms pumping. He's hustling for third. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. That is good. Now to the plate, stop. Willie Adamas. Willie. And a great chance here for the Rays to add on in just the first inning. First delivery to him on the way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Line to the right side. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot of loud contact. That's four bullets in the first inning to open up this game. Kiermaier. In now, Kevin Kiermeyer, And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Conforto, and they'll need him to get right something field. going here. Hey, we're still in the early Conforto. stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. All right, let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays on defense. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Upton in a hole, 0-2 the count to him. This one's down to third. Throw gets him, two down. Ready now for L.A., Zach Kozar. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Pitch to the plate as a sinker for a called strike one. in the air out to center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And that's the third out. Angels are gone in order. They trail in this one 3 nothing.
and now batting G-Man Choi. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. One of the best hitters in baseball, and he does it with some damage, too. Lots of extra base hits. He's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. And the streak is alive. As you can see on the graphic, he creeps ever closer to the big number 56. Amazing what this guy has been able to do. Think about the pressure every day he gets to the ballpark. Members of the media asking about the streak and keep it going. Is he looking forward down the line? Amazing how he's been able to concentrate through all of this. Yeah, and how it affects everyone else around him because everyone's pushing for him to get a knock every night. You can't lose sight of trying to win ball games, but man, the focus of our attention is squarely on this play. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Time for a look at the Angels Down on defense. And base. this team's lucky enough Joey. to have their gold glover play shortstop. The captain of the infield. And the offense knows if the ball's hit in his direction, you could pretty much take the right-hand turn and go back to your dugout. Not only the routine ones, but the highlight reel ones as well. The 0-1 pitch. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And another runs across as this is now a 4 nothing ball game. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Now so the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Here comes the first pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. Looks like Up the pitching coach is going to come out and have a word with him. Don't like to see that in the second inning, but once he makes sure he's okay physically, I'm sure it'll be just words of encouragement the rest of the way. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. From the belt, kicks and deals. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. Back goes Trout, still ranging back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a two run shot to right center. So his remarkable season continues as this lead swells to seven to nothing. So we'll take one more look and boy he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. Here comes the Angels manager now as he makes the slow walk toward the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. 